Seems legit. Hello, my legitimates. Uh, I got a package and it was really, really exciting. Um, so, Brymax, who is now the supplier of my templates, has some exciting new things for me to look at and play with. And the first thing is, is if you message her, you can get the upgraded glitter rivet spacing templates. Do they not look totally amazing? So this is how they came in the packet. Um, I took, I didn't keep it in the packaging because it had like my name and address and big letters across it and stuff. But they're glittery. They come in different coloured glitters. And then all the markings, the... The engraving has been filled with what I assume is like a white paint so that you can easily read all of the markings on them and it comes with a little ring so that you can hang them because this is how I store my templates. Uh, so you can just open the ring, take them off, but yeah, they are glittery and obviously green because what other colour would they be for me? Uh, but she does have other colours, so if you message her, you can get more fancy ones. Um, the, the standard ones are the only ones on offer on the website at the moment. But like I said, if you send her an email or a phone call, um, she can price you up a very fancy glitter set. And the reason I got these mainly is because they're pretty, but also because I've got so many little templates around my sewing space now. These ones will stand out. Uh, so I'll always know that the glitter ones are the rivet spacing ones. And it's just, you know, Treat yourself is pretty much what it is. Anyway, the second thing we have is she will, she hasn't offered these yet, but they are coming soon. But I just wanted to show you because it's awesome. It is a stamp, but it's not just any stamp. It is filled with fabric ink so that you can, oh, how cool is that? So it's got a little slide button, but you can make your own labels. Now, the second that this arrived, I ran straight to Spotlight and got myself a whole bunch of stuff. I have been practicing stamping a little bit. Um, I wanted to see how it goes on different types, uh, but I'm going to show you it today. But it's got a slide thing, and so it pulls out. There's the stamp. And then this is the self-inking pad. Very, very cool. So it's compact and little. You don't need like a whole big space to keep it. And then you can stamp your logo on. Um, so it is half an inch by one and a half inches is the size that you can see here. Um, and so you can literally just, I got a bunch of different ones. Now, it will take me a minute to work out how to stamp it in the middle, but I don't think I did too bad. And it's that simple, just push it down for a little bit. So that was just a quick stamp. Now I wanna do it, I haven't really played with this, I just wanted to stamp the different stuff to see. Uh, but this is one inch cotton twill tape that I got from Spotlight. So holding it for longer versus not holding it for longer. This was the one I held longer. And then this is the one that I did the quick stamp. It's pretty much of a muchness. So you don't have to do the long hold like I just did. But I just wanted to test it out to see if it did anything different. We are good. Um, and that, so then what you would do, so if you're wondering, oh, but now what? So what you do is you cut it a little bit past now, if you were making lots of these, you would maybe even pre-cut them to put it in the middle. And then you tuck under that edge and then you can stitch it down inside of pretty much anything. So instead of having a floating tag, you could stitch it down like that. So you've got options. You could either just tack it here or you could sew around the whole square. Um, and you could spend like an hour in front of the TV making up a bunch of these and then just have them in a drawer. Anyway, that is really, really cool. This is, how was this? This is one and a half inch tape. So the two times I tried, I didn't quite get it in the middle, but we're gonna try again. It would take a practice, I would imagine. It's just a practice thing. Ah, see, look, got it first time. So the way to do it is and I've just worked this out right now. See this bit here? The edge of that is where the stamp starts. So you would just line that up with the edge like I just did then. And then you could make one of the tags. I've done that the wrong way. Shouldn't matter. No, it does. Okay. 
So I need to stamp it the other way, this way. Right there, like that. And then you would cut it as a floating tag, like this. So you could then sew that into a seam. Now I left a big bit because most of my patterns specifically have a half inch seam allowance. So then you would just have the little bit hanging out the side. Alternatively, you could also do it like this, where we tuck the top and the bottom, but you would just cut it a lot shorter. So to tuck it, you would maybe make it about that big. All of this ribbon, by the way, cost me $4. So then you would just tuck under the raw edge and then stitch it around top and bottom like that. And that would make a smaller tag than that one. But you've got options. Um, I also grabbed this. Now this was a long stamp. I want to try this again. This is like a satin ribbon and I got a green stripe just because, you know, it's green. And I just wanted to try it out. So the first thing I would probably actually do is iron this because it's not exactly straight and then we're just going to quickly press it down this one i held for a long time and it bled a little bit so we're just going to sit that aside this one is a two inch thicker satin so again i just want to see what this one would look like i'm going to close it to ink it and then open it up again and then stamp just quickly we don't want to hold it too long because the one that i held for a really long time tried to bleed um, another option might be is to instantly iron it to set the ink. Um, but stamp, stamp. You have to re-stamp every time. So that's two stamps and it kind of went more grey. So definitely open it and close it each time. But other than that, oh, I think this is wonderful. This is going to be so much fun. You can also stamp paper or pretty much anything. If you write a thank you card, you could put your logo on that, and that way you could kind of write it out of fancy stuff, or you can make thank you cards with your Cricut if I've convinced you to buy one of them. Boop. It's so easy. And it hasn't taken me that long to kind of line it up either. It's really not that hard. Boop. That one moved. Close it, open it, stamp it. So you would literally just, to do it in a bulk lot, what I would do, personally, is I'd get this and I'd line it up along my mat. And then, however many you need, you just stamp and then close it and then open it and then stamp. And you could use the lines on the grid so that you get the right amount to loop under each time. Okay, and then you cut that there, and you cut that, that one's too close, but to be fair I didn't line up that one, right? And then you would just, right on the edge like that, trim it down. You'd need to work out the maths, which I obviously haven't done yet, but there's a tag, ready to go. And this is pink, so you can go and buy yourself a whole bunch of different colours and have them to match the linings of the bag. For this next bit, I have a collection of fabrics and I just want to see how these stamp. So this is vinyl. I am slightly concerned that it might not dry, but we're going to put it on there anyway and see how it goes. I'm going to set it aside. I also, because I can see currently that's wet. If I touch that, I'm going to smear it. So I'm going to set it out of my way over there. And then this is the thick... 600 denier waterproof canvas that they get in America. So we're going to try that. And then this is my awesome thin stuff that I used to stock. I didn't deliberately grab green. They were just on top. Just in case you were all wondering why I'm the crazy lady with all the green. That was not intentional. And this is a scrap from yesterday's video. So it's accidentally green today. Again, we don't need that much. But if you bought like a slab, you could pre-organize and then stamp them all. That's not what we're doing today. Today I'm just stamping it on different stuff to see how it goes. Close. Open. Stamp. Close. Open. Stamp. This is really fun. Alright. 
So, they all went on and didn't smudge. This is a great start. They're also, none of them are bleeding. Um, this one that I stamped earlier into the satin ribbon is bleeding a little bit, uh, but not too much, but I wouldn't put that on a professional bag. So the satin ribbon is out because it bleeds. But in saying that, maybe we should go to the iron and then stamp one and instantly set it with the iron. Maybe that would help. All right, let's go to the iron. Okay, so I've set up, I'm on top of a Teflon sheet just because, you know, I want to. So my iron has just gone hot. I've got it on the hottest setting because I just do. So let's do one on here and then instantly set it and see if this helps. I think it will. Also, oh, that was still a bit wet. That did smudge, but I'm pretty sure that's my fault. This one, however, on the 600 denier, that one's dry already without an iron. Okay, so I just set that with the iron. No bleeding. I doubt that's now going to bleed because of the iron. I also am going to take my, this one. I'm gonna put a piece of fabric on top and then we're gonna iron that one too. It might not work, it might transfer, I don't know, but this is why we're testing it out live. Well, not live, but you know, without incident. So I did get a little bit on here. To be fair, it was still wet. That is really hot. It's gonna have to wait a second. I'm also gonna iron this one. You can iron the waterproof canvas that I used to get. Um, it has no drama being ironed. Okay, so doing that made it bleed. I possibly should have let it dry by itself. It did not like the iron, but it is no longer bleeding further. So I don't know. All right, so this one was the, le the vinyl one, which is the one I'm most interested in. That, I'm rubbing pretty hard is set. So the best, what I would most likely be doing is cutting a bunch of vinyl tags and then stamping them and then having them in a, like a container. And then you could just make that neater and stitch around the edge. So you can now make your own fabric tags. You can also, if you're doing a lining of a bag in this, you can also just stamp with the thick waterproof canvas and off you go let it dry for a little minute and it's good this one i would probably suggest to let it air dry a bit longer that was my bad onto cotton fabric it's good to go and if you're gonna do it on a satiny ribbon look it hasn't bled any further since i stamped it and instantly ironed it so that would be if you want to do like fancy ribbons instead and just tuck the ends under i would be doing that and then instantly iron it to achieve the best results and even though i didn't put it in the center it is in line with the line so i mean baby steps but yeah if you leave it go it will bleed out so you want to stamp it and then iron it and set it but that looks really nice that one i'd use that one for sure on a beetlejuice bag or something It'd be very cool but i love this it doesn't rub off once it's been ironed so i would be making a whole bunch of tags like this and you, you can now make your own vinyl tags to stick in. You could also um, cut your zipper overlays and then stamp them and then come and set them with the iron. So to iron this, I've got my iron on the hottest setting imaginable. All right, so you just stamp it. We'll do it again. All right, stamp it, fabric over the top, set the iron, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight seconds is probably enough. And make sure you've got a crappy transfer sheet. I would suggest using fabric to soak up the extra ink as opposed to a Teflon sheet because it'll probably smear on here and then you'll wreck more. So have like a crappy piece of scrap left over to do the, the mopping up of the excess. But again, it's now cool enough to touch. I'm rubbing that real hard and it's good. So there you go, guys. Um, I don't know when they're coming out, but I did just want to show everybody, and I think this is amazing, and I definitely plan on doing a whole bunch of tag making in the very near future. Probably not today, because I've got other videos that I need to get through, but still, very, very cool. 
Um, and all templates, I have linked her website below. I will link it to my section, but she also does other people's templates as well. Eventually, all of my bags will be up. It just takes time for her to prep them. Um, but after that, yeah, we will have all of my patterns and all of my, like, tassel templates and rivet settings and box corners and all of those will be up soon it just it all takes a while so i think she's going to do another release of them on friday so if it's if you want like temptress isn't up yet if you want temptress templates just email her she does have all the files to do it and she could possibly jump that one to the start of the queue so she could get you your order straight away so just keep that in mind but yeah these will be coming out soon and i do highly recommend that you get onto these because you can make your own tags now we're going to start seeing these on my bags. I'm going to actually do one for the video today. Very, very cool. All right, guys. I'll see you later.